So this is what we're pressing out of the inside. What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. My name is Travis. This is TWA Motorsports and today, well, it is a crappy rainy day and uh, just stopped to get me some coffee or I don't know what it is. My wife's got me addicted to Starbucks. But anyway, we are going to be working on the Trans Amp. Well, part of the Trans Amp today anyway. Uh, since it's rainy, I figured it'd be a good time to go to my buddy David's shop. And it's a little ways down the road, but we are going to be working on the Trunnion upgrade. So uh, let's get on the road. So the roads down to his house or to his shop are curvy and it seems like I always get behind a semi and a semi on curvy roads, we're literally going 20 miles an hour, but I don't know if you guys can read the mud flaps on that truck. I thought it was kind of funny. They're Travis mud flaps. How crazy is that? I don't know that I've ever, I don't know that I've ever seen that before. Anyway, we're about halfway there, so uh, you gotta keep driving. Well, we have finally made it. Uh, I give him a hard time because I feel like it's driving to the end of the earth. I always tell him I'm leaving at six in the morning, so I should be there at like, I don't know, 11 or 12. It's actually not that far. It's about an hour and 15 minutes, but uh, let's go in and check it out. So what we are doing is actually pressing the center out of the of the actual rocker itself. So what I'm using is a socket that's properly sized to fit over the outside and then one that just is enough to fit on the inside. So we're going to be pressing this out. So this is what we're pressing out of the inside. Now we need to flip it over and finish pressing out the other side. So now it's completely pressed out. We just have, what, 15 more to go. And that's just getting the old ones out and then we will concentrate on getting the new ones in. But we got a lot of work ahead of us here. So once you get the center knocked out, we have to press in the new bushing. So all we have to do is press in the bottom one first, and then you're gonna use these washers. Now I suggest you buy this if you don't have them. And well, I'll show you the process. Once we get this one pressed in, uh, then we put the center piece in, and then we press the top bearing in using the washer. So you'll be able to see that here in this next step.
Well, that's the first one done. We have 15 more to go. And um, of course, we have to put the snap rings in. I'll show you guys that process when we finish up. But uh, well, let's keep plugging away. Okay guys, so the last thing that we need to do here is just put the snap rings into place. So you're gonna need a pair of snap ring pliers and they literally just go in that channel on the side. So once you're finished with that, uh, obviously there's one on both sides, but go ahead and put them on all of these and that will be it. All right, so we're gonna take a quick look at David's hot rod here. So what is this? It's a 71 Volkswagen Squareback. With a? It's got a L61 2.2 liter Ecotec in it. Sweet. Out of a 03 Sunfire. So it's wicked fast. Yeah, it's super fast. <laughs> For the 71 Squareback it is anyway. Yeah. I think it looks cool. What kind of wheels are on it? Uh, they're MP8 folks, 15 by five and a half. And then he was saying he went to drag. What is it? Drag week. Yep. All right, drag week. And you have to run a drag radial or a drag tire. A drag type tire, yeah. <laughs> so what did it run? You said. Well, it went 1654 at 86. Oh man. It's it's a. This is the kind of cool stuff I get to see when I come down here. One of the reasons I drive the six hour trip down is just the sequel cool stuff. Yeah, six hours. It is about six and a half hours. I think I could ride my bike to your house in six hours. <laughs> I don't believe that. I don't believe that. Radiator's mounted in the front. It's kind of scary looking right at the moment. But fuel tank's up there. Actually, just uh, built new coolant tubes that run underneath the car. Yeah, I saw that on Instagram. Yep. Besides that, just drive it. We put about thirty thousand miles on it in the last three years. Well, I love the patina on it. And then, yeah, that's the most asked thing is when you're going to paint it. Oh my gosh, that's what people ask me about my truck all the time. It's like, yeah. when are you, you going to paint it? That's stupid. Yeah. Like it is painted. This is painted. Yeah. It was painted, and now it's done. This car has some paint left, and I'll drive it until I can't stand it anymore. No. Probably not paint it still. Well, it's cool looking. I love it. Well, I'll let you get back to work. I'm uh, I'm probably holding you out, but thanks for letting me use your press. Yep, no problem. And uh, now you'll be on TV. I'm YouTube be, TV. I'm going to be famous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, I don't tell anybody that every time I have a question about ls based stuff david's the guy i call he knows everything he's put it all together a hundred times so anytime i have a question he's the guy i go to that's for sure i'm that guy that guy yeah <laughs> Well guys, we are back home and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. This is really a must do if you're gonna keep the stock rockers and go to an upgraded cam. As you get a higher lift cam, the chances of those needle bearings failing uh, becomes more prevalent. So you wanna make sure that if you're keeping the stock, stock rockers and not going with an upgraded rocker, that you do this trunnion upgrade. And uh, hopefully you were able to see when I was taking them apart, those little needle bearings, you don't want those dropping into your motor. Now I personally have never had one fail, but it has happened. I've read horror stories of that happening. So uh, always a good upgrade and uh, hopefully you guys were able to see the process and it, it's really easy. You just need a bench vise or a press. Obviously I do not have either one. That's why I went down there and it's always good to go down and see David in his shop. Super great guy. If you guys need anything, anything done as far as like LS based or any like just 
maintenance or general maintenance, uh, I'll list his info down in the description below. And it's always cool to see some of the projects that he's working on, that square body he's had for a little while now. It's a really cool car. He took it on drag week, like he said. And uh, well, it, it, it's just neat to see all the stuff that he gets to work on. But hopefully, like I said, you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go down, smash that thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, go down, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And well, stay tuned to see us put these rockers on those new heads.